Hi everybody, this is Liz from Homegrown Homestead and I'm going to do a day in the life. This was a very busy day and I didn't film everything, but I think you get the gist of it. It started out with me trying to till where we're going to plant our um, items that are going in the not raised bed. It was just too muddy, so I said forget that. And then I decided, well, let's check on the chickens like normal. And it was pretty early in the day and it was going to be a very hot one. So I got, tried to get out here real quick. I think I was out there about 6, 6.30. And there's a little red. She's so cute. And Frank is our rooster. Gave him some fresh water. And then I gave them some uh, homemade scratch. We, um, oats, calendula, flowers, blue dri um, sorry, freeze-dried blueberries, freeze uh, pepper seeds, just oregano, bunch of stuff. And they really like that. The blueberries they fight for. Well, not fight, but they'll argue for that. And also because it was going to be so hot, I got out there early. So right after I did the chickens, I came over here. The garden's looking very good, but I wanted to get it watered because even though they'll tell you it's going to rain, it doesn't always rain. So because of the braised beds, I wanted to get them watered. It was so beautiful outside though, and a nice quiet day. I don't know if I was there early enough before people went to work, which I think was the case, or, or after they already went to work. But I'm guessing it was before because it was this was still about 6:30.
So I have bought this box of OxyClean years ago and it's very difficult for me to get to because as you can see moisture got at it and it just got all clumpy. So I found myself a gallon ice cream container and I was just going to transfer it in there so I started off first pounding it in the box which was fine but then I at least got a little smarter and I dumped it in the ice cream container and figured I would just smash it in there and it worked. So now I'm back to using it more often because it doesn't give me such grief. So I made artisan bread in a couple videos ago and it was delicious and this is what we have left over. Um, we weren't eating it fast enough. We don't eat a lot of bread even though we love bread we don't eat a lot of it. So I thought I'd make croutons because we do eat quite a bit of our salads, our lettuce that we're growing. I also just love balsamic vinegar with fresh bread and olive oil and if you want to put seasonings in there like just plain old little Italian seasoning or fresh herbs that's totally fine so when I was done cutting this up I saved myself a little slice and I had to have a little snack <laughs> Hold on to what we know we have 
hold on to moments that we've shared Hold on if all we have is just e this is a dish towel that I have and I really like it so I thought I would iron this so it hangs nicely usually I don't care too much but this one I wanted to be able to see the graphic on the other side and I've gone back to using cloth napkins first of all I love that they're cute they're pretty whatever you want to call it but they also save money because I just throw it in with my rags and sanitize them you know on sanitize uh, level on the dish dishwasher my goodness on the wash machine and it takes me if I'm using one if I'm not real messy I don't really use one a day because they're pretty big and if I really didn't wipe my mouth or anything I can use them again so I enjoy ironing actually kind of weird but I like it Thank everybody for watching thank you for coming back thank you for being new if you can give me a like or even subscribe that would be just awesome so I know somebody's even watching this and I wish all of you a great day a great week and enjoy yourselves bye everyone